But you got no confidence, baby. Do they really run around? Maybe. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here, girl. Let me take these ear things off. I have to buy me some more earbuds, y'all. I lost my uh, my earbuds over the weekend. Um, I don't know where they are. I do not know where they are. And it's so funny because I remember the last time they were in my hand, and I just cannot remember where I... I ro like I rolled them out of my hand like dice and they rolled into something and I cannot remember what they rolled into. I'm just like, ah, no, where am I? So I had to buy some more. So I got some more. I was like, ah, oh. I did not want to buy any more. But I had to get my my youngest child. He needed some earbuds. So I was like, they had like a little bundle on the ones that I so I got the same exact ones, but I just got the little bundle for him so he can get his pair. But anyway, so what's going on, y'all? We are down here. Did y'all watch New Jersey? It was so good. It was the last episode, and I don't know when they're going to come back. Um, I don't know who's coming back. I don't know what is happening, right? Um, so here, let me clean this thing off. All right. Uh-oh. All right, that's better. I was like, what is going on? So... So I was like um, watching New Jersey Housewives. It was good. New Jersey Housewives was good. Um, I um, watched it twice. I fell asleep on the second time that I watched it, but I watched it. It, it girl, I think we're gonna talk about it tomorrow because I want to. I want to watch it again and I want to take notes. It was really good because I didn't take any notes. I watched it both times and I didn't take any notes. Um, can we talk about New Jersey? Maybe we we'll, maybe we can talk about it in the second video, but anyways, let's go down to the blogs and see what's going. He is a I part sponsored of it. the now yes. I sponsored the Let blog. Let me tell you something. Going on. Go ahead while I'm making my way down to the blogs. You go ahead and you like the video for your girl. Please like the video, okay? Please like the video. All right, so let's go down to. Now Nicki Minaj is fighting with her sister. Girl, I don't know what's going on. What is going on? It says, woo, Nicki Minaj seemingly had some words for sister Ming Lulani. Lu, Lu, is it Lu, Luani? No. What's her? Luanili? Luanli? Ming Luanli? I don't know. Anyways, Ming, we're going to call her Ming. Um, she even alludes to the upcoming musician possibly being a mooch who has to find her own success. If you recall, Ming did several interviews this year speaking on her relationship with Onika. Well, who has never been successful. I want a person speak. I want a person they love. Why would a person speak openly about a private person? Why would a person do that? Why would a person do that? Who would you who would you speak about in your interviews if you if someone wanted to interview you? Yourself, right? No, I'm gonna talk about my superstar it's sister. Are you crazy? Time. Nicki Minaj, let me tell you something. I'm done. I'm done. I cannot. Girl, you are nuts. Period. I can't even do it, girl. Girl, your sister is trying to get on. What does she do? Has she done anything to you? Bad? Has she disrespected you? Put your hands on you? Has she said something about your motherfucking man? Did she steal your lollipop when you was in the third grade, bitch? Shut the fuck up. Girl, shut up. Nicki Minaj is an energy vampire, period. I said it. I don't even have to get a goddamn interview to do it. Shut up. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Girl, shut up. I can't even listen to the rest of it. Let me read some of the comments at least. She's never beating those mean girl allegations. That's the first comment. Never, ever. 
girl, you're never gonna, you're never gonna beat. You're not a girl's girl. I don't know. Siblings is different. You have to be very careful because we don't know what the fuck. Anything like I said, did she take your damn lollipop in the third grade? Because you don't ever, you never know what siblings, how far and how deep things go. That's why I'm just like, girl, I don't even want to hear it because I don't even know what it's about, but it sounds familiar. And this is your sister and it's weird. And to say, who would you talk about? If you, you are the self-proclaimed queen of rap and some, and I'm your sibling and somebody, and I'm up and coming with my music thing. And, and I, we look alike, bitch. So I'm sitting in the interview. Why wouldn't I talk about my superstar sister? Okay. That weird energy with your little sister is way lamer than anything that little girl said. That little girl wants the same attention from her sister that 50 cent, 50 cent son wants from him. Take us out the group chat, spend time with your sister. Could, could take the girl on tour for the summer, anything. You could have your sister open for you. Just anything. Just like, uh, Hennessy would never right, right. Girl, little sis didn't say anything bad. She's talking about her own life experiences that involve Nikki. Maybe it's just me, but my little sis could never do anything that could make me try to publicly clown her. Did y'all listen to the interview? She clearly said she never needed her or wanted her sister to see that she could do it for herself and wanted to impress her sister. And that lady's and that lady lashes out. Nikki, please grow the fuck up or go on baddies, Maddie. You mad. That's what you call her, Maddie. You mad. What you mad about? You always mad. I know what I know one way you could stop being upset is to drop that nigga. That's the reason why you upset and you taking it out on every on everybody else. But we have another pick me holding on to a rose full of thorns. Holding on to their man. They're gonna hold on to anything. They're gonna hold on to their man. I'm trying to fix this thing. I think I'm gonna need to cut it because that's what I normally do. I cut it right here at the sleeve so it can so it can hang um right there because I want the I want the collar to be right there. I don't like when the collar falls. Anyway, on this particular shirt, you know what I'm saying? I already cut this shirt already. I cut the sleeves and I cut the hem at the bottom so I could so it could crop. You know. Let me see if I can show you. Got no confidence. See, and I cut it down at the bottom so it can hang, you know, it's cute. Anyway, so ain't nobody worried about Nikki, Nikki, oh, Nika Mirage, girl, you sound crazy as hell. We moving on. All right. Jennifer Lopez reportedly feels furious and humiliated amid Ben Affleck split, spit while split while he de delays filing for divorce to protect her. Jennifer Lopez is reportedly experiencing feelings of anger and embarrassment following her split from Ben Affleck, according to page six. Did you see us on page six? The insider revealed that Affleck initiated their reunion. The singer rekindled her relationship with Affleck in, in 2021, shortly after parting ways with her former fiance, Alex Rodriguez. The source explained he caused her humiliation especially considering how she openly declared him as the love of her life. But you have declared every man as the love of your life. It, it, nothing you say about love, Jennifer Lopez, holds any weight. You fall in love with everybody you're with. You want to marry everybody you're with, that, with. I can't imagine that every man that you're with is husband material. I can't imagine that. I can't imagine a recovering alcoholic is hu husband material. And then you put him in a stressful situation where he has to perform all the time. He looks miserable. Yes, he probably did spin the block. Didn't nobody tell you to run down the aisle, though? You accepted the marriage proposal. You were not forced to marry Ben Affleck. Get the fuck out of here with your embarrassment and your, your humiliation. You should be embarrassed that you've been married so many times and y'all act like you uh, you uh, honor the, the sanctity of marriage and you've been married 5,000 times. Girl, shut up. Additionally, um, it says he calls her humiliation considering he op she openly declared him as the love of her life. Their recent elopement to Las Vegas followed by a wedding celebration in Riceboro, Georgia just left two years after their previously marriages has left her feeling exposed. Um, additionally, Lopez's album, This Is Me Now, and the associated Amazon Prime documentary, which features Affleck, draws in inspiration from their relationship. 
The source also disclosed Lopez concerns about their blend, blended family, as both stars have children from previous, previous marriages. Lopez's emotional attachment to Violet, Violet in particular, adds another layer of complexity to the situation. She envis envisioned a blended family and had hoped their future together. Um, coming to terms with the end of the relationship has been challenging. Let me tell you something how Jennifer Lopez is going to be in another relationship in 18 months. In 18 months, and that person will be her bestie, that person will be the love of her life, and she will marry that person. What sign is Isn't she a Leo? She must have her, her Venus must be in Pisces. Girl, can you just sit down for a second? Like, what is, I just, I do not understand the behavior of jumping from relationship to relationship and all of those relationships being so meaningful that you need to attach yourself legally to the person is insane. I don't understand the behavior. I don't. I don't get it. Let's read some of the comments. Girl, you'll be fine. She is probably talking to her next soon to be husband right now. Like I said, she's probably on a date right now with another man. Jennifer Lopez is not broken up about this. I uh, trust me. She doesn't need to heal and seek therapy. She she doesn't heal and seeks and seeks therapy. So go get a new relationship. That's all she does. She doesn't go. I, I hope Jennifer Lopez is in therapy. I hope she's asking her therapist, why do, what is it? Why do I feel like I need to jump from relation? What is it? What am I missing? Right? A mirror. That's all. Hey, Tamar. I'm always on a shout out Tamar because she's another one. Trekking. Trekking. Y'all with the staff in hand and your canteen and your mirages. She'll be all right. This ain't her first divorce. She'll be all right. She'll be remarried by this time next year. She shouldn't have rushed to marry him. Dude, send her back to the streets. She'll remarry someone. She'll be married to someone by, by Christmas. Who are these so-called insiders? Right. This is so sad. And who is the source that keeps running their mouth? Never felt bad for Jen. Humiliated. Jen, J-Lo, no one gives a fuck. Trust me. J-Lo is the problem. If you know, you know. Somebody putting a bunch of violin emojis and rolling eyes. Girl, don't nobody care. It's a joke. It's a joke. Like to me, nobody believes that you value love and marriage the way that you demonstrate that you do because you do it so much. There has to be, there's, it has to depreciate in value when you do it so many times, honestly. Trigger warning, in 2017, Ali Rossman, a six-time Olympic gold medalist, publicly confirmed longtime USA gymnastics doctor, Lawrence Nasser, essayed her. Following this revelation, Rossman posted a message condemning the victim shaming faced by women who come forward with stories of SA. Simone Biles, who was also assaulted by Nasser, supported Rassman during this period. Gabby Douglas commented on Rassman's tweet which condemned public victim shaming rather than focusing on the abusers. Gabby quoted Rasman's tweet saying, however, it is our responsibility as women to dress modestly and classy. This was in Gabby quoted Rossman's tweet saying, however, it is our responsibility as women to dress modestly and be classy. Dressing in a per oh, Dressing in a provocative sexual way entices the wrong crowd. You're fucking Dr. Gabby. See, I'm trying to read it without interrupting. Okay. This tweet caught many, many surprise as Ali Rassman, Simone Biles, and Gabby Douglas were teammates at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Simone Biles responded to her teammates' tweet, writing, shocks me that I'm seeing this, but it doesn't surprise me. Attaching a screenshot of the deleted tweet, honestly, seeing, th seeing this brings me to tears because as your teammate, I expected more from you and to support her. I support you, Allie, and all other women out there. Stay strong. 
This exchange has resurfaced amidst speculation that Biles and Douglas were on the outs after Gab Gabby noticeably didn't public publicly show love for Team USA after their outstanding performance in the, 24 in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Many believe the past incident might be why Gabby has been silent. It is worth noting that Gabby did apologize publicly saying, I didn't correctly word my reply and I am deeply sorry for coming off like I don't stand alongside my teammates. Regardless of what you wear, abuse under any, under any circumstance is never acceptable. I'm with you. Hashtag me too. That's awful. But that is how a lot of women believe. It comes from men. It's almost as though you have you have to put in the men are just gonna be are gonna be violent. They're gonna abuse you. They're just, they're just gonna do it. So you need to adapt. You need to dress modestly. You need to be classy so that you are not victimized by one of these animals. That's victim blaming. This is from 2017. So maybe and hopefully her ideas about people being sexually assaulted has changed. Because when you tell someone, you, it's your responsibility to dress like this. Because if somebody harms you, you should have been dressed differently. Knowing that nuns get raped, okay? Women in hijabs and niqabs get raped. So they fully clothe. Your, the way that, let's be clear, the way that you dress and the way that you act has nothing to do with someone harming you. Your behavior has nothing to do with someone harming you. That is that person's own will to do that to you. You had nothing to do with that. This thing where we live in a victim blaming society, I've been saying it for years. But these kind of ideas that are held by especially women is very irresponsible and it's dangerous. Being that you are a woman, again, but you are a woman programmed under this system. So your ideas about the way women should show up might be a little male identified, right? Because that's some, something a man would say. You need to be classy. You need to be modest. Those are that that's those are women speaking for men, right? That's all that is. Let's read a couple comments and then we can move on from this. Using a 27 tweet between both women when both women were teens to pin black women against each other is wild. Girl. Listen. Again, I'm going to throw out the race card to ignite a trigger. Black women, because they are black women, and I'm using that for the sake of conversation, do not have to get along. They do not. Because just like I just finished saying, our, ide our ideologies, the way, our values, what we put value in, does not all, they're not the same across the board. So we don't look the same. We don't act the same. We don't approach situations the same. We don't um, approach confrontation the same. We don't spend money the same. We don't save the same. We don't, all of us are not a monolith. And just because our skin is melanated and we have vaginas, we can not get along. It's, it's okay that we don't get along. This idea where, oh, the black women are being pitted against the shirt, girl, shut up. If we have a difference in a, of opinion and we are in conflict and confrontation, then so be it. That's just what it is. That's life. Gabby just spoke highly of Simone and Simone spoke highly of Gabby during her Netflix special. After we had such a beautiful moment between black women yesterday on the podium, it's disappointing that people would bring this up and this blog will report the mess. Simone mentioned how she loved and looked up to Gabby in her recent Netflix documentary. These women are not enemies. This is even weird to post. There we go. All right. What's next? Janet Jackson in final talks with Resorts World for Las Vegas residency. Are y'all going to go see Janet Jackson in Las Vegas? Yep. Do y'all... <laughs> One of I remember going to Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation 1814. 
I told you the story before. How I was mad. I've been mad. I was mad at Janet Jackson for a long time after that. I was so mad at her because I love Janet Jackson. I was ready to five, four, three, two, one, and all this other stuff. And boom, boom, doo, 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 boom, boom, doo, 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 boom, 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 the motherfucking if and all this. I loved Janet Jackson. I love Rhythm Nation. I love. I was little. I was a girl, a little girl. I think I was in junior high school when the Rhythm Nation came out. I love Janet Jackson. But I went to a Janet Jackson concert, me and my friend, me and my best friend, Jennifer. We went to um, Janet Jackson. And we were, I was upset. <laughs> I wonder if she remembers this. I was upset when I realized that Janet Jackson was lip syncing. And I didn't, at the time, as a young teenager, I didn't realize that as much as she, she performs and dances and moves around the stage, that lip syncing helps her do all the other stuff, right? So I was mad at Janet. I held a grudge with Janet Jackson for a long, I was mad at her for a long motherfucking time. For lip syncing, I was pissed because I came to see Janet Jackson and I was mad that she wasn't singing live. It was a good show. It was a good show, but I was, I remember being like, <laughs> I was not happy. I was not happy about it. Um, let's see. Michael Rainey Jr. and Chloe Bailey to star in a new horror flick set in New Orleans. That seems interesting. I wonder here the with the first fucking comment. They would make a cute couple. No the fuck they wouldn't. Why are y'all always trying to, I, y'all, 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 y'all really believe that because you exist, you should be partnered in a relationship with somebody. I really feel, I feel like that. I feel like whether you don't belong in a relationship, you feel like you, because you exist, you should be partnered with someone. Y'all feel like that. Cause why every time you see a man and a woman in a side by side photograph, they not even together in the picture, bitch. These are two separate pictures on a fucking post and this person says they would make a cute couple. No, the fuck they wouldn't. Why the fuck? Girl, let me, I don't even want to read the post. Um, uh, 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 here he goes. Orange Julius claims that a that young thug is being treated unfairly in the YSL trial. Who's playing Aaron Hernandez? It says Ryan Murphy and FX will debut a new drama based on the rise and fall of late football player Aaron Hernandez. A new drama highlighting the rise and fall will debut on next Netflix next month. Actor Josh Rivera will star as the Patriots star. Riviera. Let me see what he looks like. I need to see what he looks like. No. Okay, I got. I, I guess I got to see him in the role because it's not giving Aaron Hernandez. Maybe I got to see him in the role. I don't know. It's not giving Aaron Hernandez for me. I don't know. I should have been a casting director because this, uh, uh, no. I mean, I guess you got to find somebody who looks like him and then also can act too. So that's a, that's a, the thing that you got to get. What is that? Oh, that's something on the screen. Okay. Okay. So good luck to him. Uh, it says, let that man rest in peace. That's so crazy. People uh, have movies made about them forever. They still make they still make films about the the Kennedy assassination. They still making films about you. They're gonna be films and films and films about Pac and Biggie. Like it's always gonna be a story made about a. I mean, when you die, if you made some kind of mark in society, hopefully a a, a film can be made about you. A YouTube video, maybe. Maybe your family will make a YouTube video about you. That's no shame. Kalani's ex, Javon Young White, 
claims Singer is in a religious cult and seeks full custody custody of their five year old daughter. Y'all have you heard, have you heard about this? I read about this last night. Somebody left it. Shout out to Antonia. She left it in the comments. She was like, "Did you hear about Kalani's um, baby daddy?" And I was just talking about him. Remember, I was just talking about him and how she picked a good a good dude to to have a baby with. Well, he wants custody of the baby because he thinks that she is in a cult and also believes that she's leaving the her daughter of, you know with the people of the cult. Um let's get into it. So, Kalani's ex-boyfriend Javon Young White has filed a paternity petition for full custody of their 5-year-old daughter Adea Nomi. Guitarist Javon Javi Young White recently submitted the court documents because he believes the singer has been a part of a religious cult for the past few years, which could put her, their daughter's their daughter in harm's way. He also claimed that the cult leader is facing multiple essay allegations and doesn't want to put their, their child at risk. Stop right there. That's all enough for me. That's all enough for me. If and let me tell you what she did uh, let's get down to it let me tell you what she did let me tell you what kalani did <laughs> furthermore javon young white alleged that the cult is negatively imp impacting how kalani parents adaya including including influencing the 29 year old celeb to keep their daughter away from him javon recently took to twitter to slam kalani for lying about his sexuality and appears he has deleted his account in case you two were unaware, the two welcomed their daughter in 2019. At the time, it was alleged that Javon was bisexual and the pair were close friends that decided to have a baby together. However, in multiple posts pulled by the Neighborhood Talk before his account went down, before his account went down, Javon said he was not gay. Okay, they didn't say you were gay. They said you were bisexual, but okay. He also claimed Kalani wanted her fans to believe she was a lesbian and only pushed the narrative to boost her career. The Post said, no, people implying I'm a gay sperm donor when I'm a whole father is lame as hell and I'm not going to sit here and go along with it. Also, being outed as a gay queer man against my consent and getting homophobia thrown at me for years gets me tight, bro. Somebody said, never heard of either one. Is it me or could they be related? Someone said, I can see it. Kaylani is really in a cult though. I love you, somebody says. These comments are weird on the Jasmine brand. What are these comments? They don't even go. Somebody's talking about a medication. Thank you for taking your medication. I, I don't know. It's weird. Anyways. So the article that I read, hold on, let me see if I can find it. The article that I read said that what they left out was that Kalani didn't put him on the birth certificate. So essentially he actually has no say. He has no say and he wants his name, he's petitioning the court to put his name on the birth certificate and to give her, the baby his last name. Now, the concern, like the, the last name and the birth certificate thing, no. But the concern over the child's welfare, I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. If you feel like the daughter is in danger and the person has been accused of SA, yes. And cults, we know how the men move in cults. Shout out to Make It Make Sense. He did a story on this and he went to the guy's page. It looks like she has, I don't know if Kalani has been initiated but there was some you know old flicks from um you know her all dressed in white and giving honor to oshun and and then um and then saying how she re reveres this man and um of course if you go to the man's page his, it seems like he is a baba um and unfortunately we know how those men move they don't move any different from the christian cults the the African spirituality, the voodoo, hoodoo, um, the ifa, the men, you have to be careful. You have to be very careful. You have to be very careful. 
you have to be very careful, period. Because dressed in all white with a bunch of beads around his neck, he will still harm you. So you have to be very careful. You do. And we know how cults look. We know how, and and and, and I'm not saying I'm not saying anything. I'm I'm not saying that Ifa has is a cult. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when you start creating these families and these groups with people, that becomes cult like. And then then they use the tool, the spirituality as a tool to continue to harm. We're not gonna act like that that doesn't happen, okay? So I can see his concern with whatever person she's around the most. They've been accused of SA, several SA allegations. I understand the concern for the welfare of the child. Um, apparently there was, um, she allows the daughter to bathe with one of the women. Um, no, we're not playing those games. I don't give a damn. Um, let's see. Let's see. Kalani's ex files for, it was, um, I can't remember the article. I think it was people. So let me get to the part where it says Adaya was Adaya. Adaya was born through home birth orchestrated by what I would describe as a cult that she belongs in. See, I think it's, it's a, it's a slippery slope for him to call her, her spirituality a cult. But I mean, you know, it's a, it is a, it is a slippery slope. But once you get in, like I'm saying, once you get into and you start com forming community, it can become cult-like. Understand? And then the, the African spirituality or the New Orleans spirituality, whatever the spiritual, wherever you're getting your spirituality from, that's used as a tool in order to harm. All right? Um, Adea was born through a home birth orchestrated by what I would describe as a cult. Young White writes in the documents, due to the fact that Adele was born in a, in, in a home and not in a conventional setting like a hospital, my name is not on Adele's birth certificate. Um, young White alleges that he requested his name to be added to his daughter's birth certificate for five years, but has yet to hear back from the singer. He also claims that Kalani won't give him their daughter's social security number and says he's not sure she even has one. What do you need her social security number for? You don't need her social security number if she if she doesn't have one, but you don't need one. Um, she might not even have a birth certificate. She might not even have a birth certificate. Young White alleges that the cult leader convinced Kalani that he wasn't that he was a danger to their daughter and that he would K I L L her convincing the singer to block young white from seeing Adea for several months. She is adorable. And she looks like her dad too. It looks like her they look she looks like a mix, but she really looks like the dad. Um he also alleges that the cult leader has numerous accusations of committing SA against young women and girls. Young White claims that in the past when Kalani went to tour, he would spend time with Adea. Now he alleges a singer will leave her daughter with random strangers who are also members of the cult. They're strangers to you. They might not be strangers to Kalani, right? Um, young White claims that in the filing that when their daughter is left with other people, she is allowed to sleep in the bed with them and is given a bath with random strangers in the cult. See, that's, that's a no. He also alleges that Kalani lets the member of the cult they call Messiah, an adult woman, take baths with Adea while the woman is under the influence of psychedelic drugs. Young White alleges that while he's tried to bring his concerns to Kalani, the musician hasn't listened and instead disparages him online to their social media following. He is asking the court to reestablish his paternity so he may exercise all his rights as the father to Adea. He is also requesting child support from Kalani. <laughs> Speaking on the 2021 Facebook watch special, Pride On, Kalani and Larry's excellent pride ride, the singer said that the decision to start a family with young white was real easy. 
I have a two-year-old daughter. She's the best. Me and her dad are like really, really close friends. And the decision to start a family was really easy for us because we both believed in each other's ability to be good parents. Kalani, who uses she, they pronouns, ident uh, pronouns and identifies as queer, said at the time. We want to focus on being a team. Honestly, when I was able to tell him I've come to a newer terms with my sexuality, he was super, super, super supportive, the singer said. So let's get back to that, to where y'all can be on a, because I feel like he has legitimate concerns. Um, if I was a judge, I would be like, don't worry about the, the be, being on the birth certificate or getting the social security thing. You want child support for the time. He wants child support for the times that she's with him when she's on tour. I would, to me, it depends on where she is. I, you know, you never know. But to me, I would, if I were to be on tour like that, I would leave the child with the father because you know, right? You don't know these people. And if you don't know these people well enough and the people have been accused of SA, then I, it's to me, I, at that moment, it, it becomes not okay. Um, I think Kalani was a victim of SA before. She's also been assaulted um, during a concert. Was, Mims mentioned it in, in his um, coverage of this story. Um, she was also assaulted at a concert. Somebody put their hands up her dress. So she under she has an understanding of the, the line that can be easily crossed and then with a child, no less, I just can't even imagine and don't want to picture that. But we are not going to align her African spirituality um, and her initiation. I don't know if she, it looked like those pictures that they were showing, it looked like she has been initiated. I'm not sure, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. But we have to make sure not to align the spirituality, the practices of the spirituality and say that it's because of that, even though, again, like with any kind of spiritual practice, religion or whatever, m people get into those spaces and begin to abuse that. And then when you are under, first of all, being in community like that with people that, you know, you have the same spiritual spirituality, spiritual practice, spiritual outlook. Dopamine is released and it's the same feeling as if you're on drugs. In addition, you're taking psychedelics in addition, right? In addition to it's just a whole thing and people where people are vulnerable and people take advantage of that vulnerability. You think you're in community and there's some man or some woman taking advantage of that vulnerability and abusing people. So we have to be careful, right? Because it, it is used as a tool. But I think the guy is a Baba. I don't know. I'm not sure. It, it said that he was, oh, hold on. Let me go to the Instagram because I did look it up. Um, Ode. He's a Oluche Ode. Um, and he is, yeah, Olubata, Olu Osain, Mambo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a 23 year old priest. And then the other woman, she just put um, Obo, o, o, Oba, Obatala Echeria, Echeria, Echecira, Echecira. And then they have a website for their, um, for their uh, practices, uh, spiritual healing from the earth and community. They sell soaps and stuff. Casa Echiros is a Santarex. Santa there's no Santaria because I guess you are um, um, including our queer, our queer brothers and sisters. So Santarex own um, company bringing spiritual wellness to the people. We provide authentic natural products rooting in Santaria practices and ancestral knowledge that draw upon spirituality to promote healing and holistic well-being. All of our products are ethical, handcrafted in the Bay Area and prayed over by elders. So that's their. Um, that's their um, website made with hella love and intention. Yeah. So that's their website. Um, a couple, I have a couple mutuals with these people. As a matter of fact, my medicine woman is, is mutuals with both of these people. 
Um, anyways, but yeah, so like I said, I understand um, wanting to keep a child safe if that's if that's his motivation. You know, we got down to the um, to the child support part. Um, she makes more money than him. While he while she's in his care, he wants child support. He wants full custody, though. That's what he wants while she's working. I don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. Anyways, I got to go. Yeah. Oh, it's 42 minutes. I got to go. Y'all take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let me know what you think. He wants he wants his name on the birth certificate. If I was a judge, I'd be like, no, <laughs> absolutely not. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let me know um, what you think about that. Um, to me, I feel like once the child's safety is at is, is in question, that's when I'm just like, uh, you know, if if that if it's true that the child's safety is in it, it's been compromised based on these people being uh, this man being accused of SA by multiple women, you should not have your daughter around them. I don't care or or son. It don't matter. Child, children, no children around. Uh, people like that i don't care what what they practice i don't give a damn i don't care no that that's when i got to that part like the the birth certificate the full custody but the full custody why do you want full custody oh okay so let's do so that so you know they're going to be doing some investigation on that in order to figure out like okay let's give custody to the dad because let's do some investigation so he's legitimate a lot of men wouldn't be, even give a shit who cares? A lot of men don't even care. Like, oh, that's the mama. So whatever happens, happens. I don't care what what, what she got going on. I don't care. The m m motherfuckers do not care. So at least he's actually trying to get custody and and keep the keep the little girl safe. I don't blame him. So it is what it is. Y'all, let me know what you think. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.